Hi and welcome to this video log with me Wayne from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com Well this week I thought we'd deal with Butterfly, a beautiful stroke, a very hard stroke to do competitively and well. So I thought we'd use some good examples and some examples where we're getting the timing slightly wrong. Now Butterfly is a flat stroke. It annoys us coaches, and I use that for every coach, um, coaching a swimming club, um, when people teach Butterfly with wiggle wiggle, wiggle wiggle, because there is no wiggle in Butterfly. There's a bum up and a bum down because we want to keep the body as flat in the water as we can. So we kick the head in with the bum up and we kick the head out with the bum down. We're going to go to the computer and I'm going to show you what I mean. So we're looking at a fairly good fly uh, swimmer here, quite accomplished, and we'll run it forward. We'll run it at full speed, and you can see the, the body is kept high in the water. There's not a huge amount of undulation, and there's a nice, nice rhythm to the stroke. Just watch that all the way through. We, we Losing the second kicker touch, but you can see there it came in. Looking at this once again, I'll start slowing, slowing it down a touch. Um, as, as the arms come in, you'll see that they're shoulder width apart and the catch occurs there. So we're having a really long stroke. He's looking forward a bit too early for my liking, but he's breathing in the right place. Now look, you can still see his nipples in the water there. He's not raised his chest out the water and the hips, which are here, are quite close to the surface. Hugely important here, swimming butterfly. Um, we'll just run that forward and you can see that he's really trying to grab the water as, as far forward as he possibly can. It's easier seen as he draws to the side. You can see, there we go, the elbows are kept high, he's trying to grab the water and push it back from that particular position. And if you look at the hips as he drives his head out, they're right by the surface. Um, hugely important, they're right by the surface. Looking at that from the side, we'll get a better picture of exactly what's going on and how much undulation there is. Now you can see the arms have come in, the grab happens, and then the breathing happens as the arms are passing the hips. And the, the hips stay very close to the surface of the water. And you've got to remember that that is our line of the pull, so our angle is that and that. Um, which is quite shallow. Um, I think he could still get his hips closer to the surface by pushing the chest in. But whilst he's taking his breath, his nipples always are in vision, so, or, or visible. So he hasn't raised his head particularly high. And what we've got is a kick in and then a kick out. So he's kicking his head out and forward to breathe. And his, his head's coming in long before his arms come into the water. I think his head is a bit tucked there. If, if we look, his head is below his arms, and I think if that were level, he'd actually have slightly less undulation than he does on the next time round. So you see slight undulation there going from the surface. Kick, 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 kick. This is where my view of the postman pack comes in. And if we run it on full speed, postman pack, postman pat and it literally works to that sort of rhythm so we'll take a quick look at that from above you can see the stroke um, we'll take it from there bum up you can see the bum coming just outside out of the water and the head comes up when the arms are literally pushing from underneath the body you can see them there just pushing underneath the body the head is not high and that means that the hands are face upwards or in this case sort of sideways and backwards and the arms come around absolutely straight they do not turn over as they come forward because he's breathed so early it means that the head can get back into the water virtually by the time the arms are passing the shoulders now i think in this case as we saw before he's burying his head a bit too too much and i don't think that's particularly good you can see the arms going in equidistant from the shoulders and there we go you can see that happens again just breathing in that position head goes back in early but he does tend to tuck his head we're going to look at someone now who has problems with their timing and you can see what i mean from the start 
Now let's stop it there. You can see the arms are coming in, crossing right to the center line. Then they have to go wide. Now that's a wasted movement in Butterfly. But with everyone uh, who swims, she's trying to get her head out the water and she does that incredibly early. There's no kick at the back either. So the knees have dropped. You can see that the knees drop to try and get herself out the water. And because her head's out the water so early, it then comes back in early and bang, the bum's up again. With the bum's up, the head's down, that's where she should be breathing. Notice her arms too, they've already turned over. It is very difficult to get your arms over the water if they have turned over. You have to have your hands facing upwards and then sweep over the surface of the water. And you can see what that does to this swimmer. It puts her in a position whereby she's got a very poor angle with the water. There's 33 degrees, 35 degrees there. That's not very good. That's going to add to resistance all the time, as you can see coming there. Here's another swimmer with timing issues. You can see what I mean. There's a delay in this swimmer's stroke and you can see that the hands are coming together and there's a delay and then pushing down and backwards together together and you can see that body position is pushing himself out those arms are actually pointing downwards um, and downwards pushes you upwards and you can see from this the height he gets out of the water is actually dragging virtually his whole chest out of the water so instead of having a smooth track on the surface what we have is a that that type of track on the surface and you can see that happen he's also got difficulty with his kick so it's kick kick and then pull Effectively, that second kick should happen there, driving the head out of the, out of the water, and it just doesn't happen. So that's yet another timing issue we've got there. Looking at the same swimmer from above, we can see that double kick and the arms come round. And it's kick, kick, and then you can see the breathing occurs really early. These, aren't, these arms aren't passing the hip, they're actually passing the shoulder, and his head's already out and breathing. So that's a timing issue there that means he's going up and down more than he's going side to side. Now, his left arm is coming round nicely until there, but his right arm is immediately being dragged forward and turning. And this is what happens when you turn those arms forward to try and get them ahead of you. We completely cross over. There's another fairly accomplished fly swimmer who demonstrates slight overundulation pretty well. I'll show you what I mean. All right, she's swimming there and you can see very little wrong with it until you slow it down. The head's over tucked and the body starts to undulate down. You can see how deep she gets and then she lifts her head to try and look forward. Now if you look at this, there's a complete wall against the, the water and that is resistance that she's creating. Because she's creating resistance, she's trying to lift her head out. So she's lifted her head out early and you can see this shape that we never really want to see, which is a curve in butterfly. We really want a straight body all the time through. And her arms there are actually pushing in that direction. We'd like to see them pushing backwards if at all possible. So she's breathed there. She's not raising her body out too high, but because she has undulated too much, the hips are further from the surface than you saw in the previous good swimmer. Let's run that forward. You can see that undulation. Now you, you notice it. You can see it slightly too much. And of course, we're going very much down up as opposed to along the surface, which is what we want to see. So there it is, butterfly. Beautiful stroke, but hard to keep going fast. You've got to get that timing right. You've got to stay flat in the water. You've got to haul yourself forward as opposed to going up and down. We've seen what that slight increase in undulation can do. It means you're going further, and the further you go, the more silly it is when you're trying to race. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully that's helped you. Something different next week. Keep up.